Absolutely. Well, this is such an incredible uh, woman we're about to meet. She flew two space missions, lived on the International Space Station, and now she's designing fabrics all in the name of science. It is such a pleasure to introduce you here to retired NASA astronaut Dr. Karen Nyberg joining us this morning from Houston. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. Thank you for having me today. I mean, I was just reading all about you and 166 days on the International Space Station. Uh, you are a retired astronaut. You lived in outer space. Uh, tell us, first of all, about that. You have a young son who is back here on land, on Earth. <laughs> what was that like for you? Yeah, so my first mission was only two weeks, and I was I didn't have a family yet uh, when I flew on the space shuttle. And then my second mission, which was in 2013, I was married with a three-year-old, and that was my long mission. So that's when I was on board the space station for almost six months. Wow. Um, it was, yeah, it was kind of hard to be away from the family, but this was a dream I had since I was a little girl. So um, we made it work well. And your son, uh, Jack, correct? That's correct. Okay, yep. So he got a chance to, you know, tell his friends, my mom's, you know, in outer space right now. I'm looking at this awesome picture of you uh, with your hair kind of flying around as, you know, there's no gravity that happens. And then this dinosaur. Tell us about this dinosaur. Well, I had I had actually taken up some sewing supplies with me, but we don't we're not allowed to take very much extra stuff with us. So I just had a little bit of fabric that I ended up making into a quilt square. And I had some needles and I had some thread. And so I decided to try to upcycle some of the fabrics that were already on Space Station. Oh. And I got, there's this fabric that lines the Russian food containers and it's kind of a stiff Velcro-like green fabric. And so I asked my Russian commander if I could have some of that and play around with it. And so one Sunday, I, I didn't have a lot going on. Um, you know, we get our weekends off for the most part. There's some, some work to do, but, and so I decided to make something for my son and he was, he was three, but so into dinosaurs. His favorite, you know, board book when he was <clears throat> first looking at books was about dinosaurs. <clears throat> excuse me. And so, so I made this dinosaur for him. I made a pattern and then I cut it out and stitched it together. And then I um, cut up an old t-shirt into strips for stuffing and, and stuffed it with that. And so that's the story of the dinosaur. Okay. So you are astronaut and you obviously math, science, all of that is an expertise of yours, but also now uh, sewing arts. I mean, I guess that's such a surprising thing for me to hear that you're also skilled in so many other facets of life. And now you've created this fashion line. It looks like, so tell us all about that dinos uh, for science. What is that all about? Yeah, so I was approached after I retired, I was approached by um, the founder of Svaha, this company that makes uh, fashion, you know, STEM inspired, mostly for women and girls. And the reason she started the company was because her little girl several years ago was interested in, in space and planets and astronauts, but she had a really hard time finding clothing for her. Um, she would find those types of things in the boys department, but not in the girls department. So she started this company and they make these awesome clothes and a lot of them are really bright and fun and science themed. And so she approached uh, me and asked if I could, if I'd be interested in, in working with them. And so I thought that would be great. And, you know, as we brainstormed and I was coming up with ideas, of course I wanted it space related, but you know, children love space and children love dinosaurs. And since my son loved dinosaurs, I thought that was the perfect combination I uh, to make for that line. Oh, and tell us the age range. Uh, it looks like clothes for all types of people. There absolutely is. There are adult dresses and the dresses are great. They fit great. They have um, pockets, which is really nice yes. in a dress. <laughs> and they have an adult uh, blouse and then also t-shirts for adults and children. And then a little girl's dress, which is a twirl dress, which I think a lot of little girls really like. Yeah, that's so cool. Yes, thank <laughs> you for dresses with pockets. I think they're awesome. Uh, and you, I mean, the fact that you uh, were in outer space and now you're back here in Houston, uh, you know, the experience that you had a chance to go through and live through, uh, how do you hope that then inspires other people. I mean, dinos in space is one way, but just hearing from you sounds so fascinating what you uh, got a chance to see and do up there. Uh, what do you hope it really for younger people? It really was an amazing experience. Yeah. I mean, I, I think, um, you know, little kids, children really needs, you know, visions and things to look up to and inspiration. And I know I did. Um, I would look up at the moon and just be really excited about the possibility and I was only eight years old when they selected the first female astronauts, and that really had an impact on me. 
And so, you know, just being able to share that and share the opportunities I had, um, seeing the earth from space right. is absolutely incredible. Yeah. And it really changes a person. And, I'm surprised and so now I'm trying to share that through art <laughs> and, and um, design and that sort of thing yeah. as well. Dr. Dyberg, thanks for sharing your story with us. So good to have you on this morning. Dinos in space, check out her collection.